Face mites are animals that actually live on your face. So they're arachnids, which, which means they're closely related to spiders. These mites belong to the genus Demodex. They're obviously our closest companion in terms of the animal world. They live on our bodies, but we know very, very little about them. By sampling visitors from around the world at the Academy, we've collected face mites from over 1,500 people from over 80 countries around the world. One of the first things we found out about face mites is that we all have them. It's interesting to me that it's something that really unites all of us. They're definitely part of that natural skin ecosystem. Our face mites are really our own. You do share your face mites with people that you have a lot of close physical contact with. You share them with your partners and with your children, most likely, but you don't share them with strangers. In that way, face mites are a lot like your own DNA because they're often passed down from parent to offspring in the same way that your DNA is. You have your own often robust population that you really keep, I think, for a lifetime. I also like to think of them as incredible storytellers that can really inform us about our own evolutionary history. By looking at face mite DNA and studying the diversity of face mites from all over the world, I can actually capture some historical information about how humans first migrated out of Africa and then spread around the world. People from all over the world host different lineages of Demodex, so different types of Demodex, based on what I call their geographic ancestry. But then when they move to a new country, a new area of the world, they take their face mites with them. I love that now my research really ties into my own story and the story of all of us. And it's exciting to think that by looking at tiny arachnids, we can learn more about ourselves and our own history.